Hi, I'm Adam Modlik, Executive Director of Basketball Manitoba, and welcome to the Basketball Manitoba All-Star Basketball Video Series. This series of videos is designed for both players and coaches to improve their knowledge and understanding on the great sport of basketball. The series is hosted by Basketball Manitoba High Performance Coach Kirby Shep, who will lead you through a number of different scenarios pertaining to the development of basketball at all levels of the game. You can use the controls at the bottom of your screen to quickly move to different segments of the video series. We hope you enjoy this presentation and we wish you the best with your overall basketball development. skill series segment will be passing. Passing is one of the most undertaught skills in the game. Often as coaches we make the mistake of assuming players can pass and catch. It's always interesting to look at other sports and the things that they teach right off the bat. For instance, hockey will teach people how to skate, but yet we as basketball coaches often don't teach players how to run or how to pass or how to catch correctly. And frankly, it's just as important as skating is to hockey. If you can't run, you can't pass, you can't catch, you can't play this game. So we're going to start first of all with some fundamentals, working on just some basic passes, and then we're going to work towards some game passes. First off, something that I call volleyball passes. The reason why I call them volleyball passes is because they're passes that you may get in a game, but not necessarily. They're passes that are done in a vacuum. Passes without someone guarding the defender, passes without someone guarding you, someone not preventing you from doing stuff. There are things that can be done really without any defense. The reality is that we need to learn these first, but game passes with defense are really what we need to build to right away, which are very different than some of your fundamental passes. So, I've got six volunteers out here that are going to be uh, demonstrating for us. We're first of all just going to be passing the ball back and forth. Uh, if I can demonstrate with Mike here, excuse me, sorry. Uh, Mike and I will pass the ball back and forth. You'll notice we'll step into every pass, we'll bend our legs. Most importantly, it's not going to be an arm motion, but a quick snap of the wrist, okay? quick snap of the wrist. I am not a big advocate of a two-handed chest pass. I think the reality is the number of times that you throw a two-handed chest pass in a game is very, very limited. Therefore, I teach a lot of one-handed chest, okay, and left-handed, one-handed chest, stepping each time, good, snapping it, holding the ball in the right spot, with my wrinkle in the wrist, got loaded, snap the ball through, snap the ball through. Practice stepping with opposite feet. Step different times. You're not always going to have the perfect foot forward as you do it. Throw it harder, Mike. Whip it at me. Fire it at me. Your players should learn how to pass the ball hard and how to catch a hard pass. There's no sense coming out here and throwing this stuff. Okay? Snap the thing. Throw it as hard as you can and get the spot every time. The other thing I'm going to concentrate on is hitting a target. I'm not just hitting Mike. I'm going to look for that Reebok logo on his jersey. I'm going to hit the lower right side of the Reebok jersey. That's what I'm looking at. Not necessarily that that's the best place to pass it, but I really want to focus on a target. Okay, I don't want to be high, I don't want to be low. Be perfect every single time. Okay, here we go guys, you're going to demonstrate some passing for us. Just some one-handed chest passes, right and left hand, go ahead. Make sure you step in with the foot, snap the wrist every time. Okay, fire it hard. Throw the ball as hard as you can being in control. Don't work on doing things half speed. Work on doing them full speed all the time. Step to receive it, step to pass it. Knees bend, fire the thing hard with your wrist. Get stronger wrists. Excellent, maybe take everybody, everybody take a step backwards. Now you're going to throw an overhead pass. An overhead pass is basically pointing your elbows in the direction that you're throwing the ball, okay? 
and once again stepping forward and snapping with your wrist. The biggest thing you want to focus on is do not bring the ball far back behind your head. Try to use your body, your legs, and all wrist in the action and snap it as hard as you can. Okay, go ahead. This to me is an extremely underused pass. A skip pass, a full court pass, an outlook pass. Snap it hard, snap it hard. Try not to have any arc on the ball. Snap it hard, fire it at them. Hard as you can. That's it. It's okay, in all ball handling drills, it's okay to make mistakes. That's a really, really crucial thing. You want the kids to screw up, to drop the ball, to mishandle it. If they're not, they're not doing it at a pace that is fast enough for them. In order to get better, they must push themselves and do it at a pace that is quick enough that they may make mistakes. That's okay. Okay, now, bounce passes, guys. Bounce passes both ways. Here we go. Bounce passes should end up about three quarters of the way to your teammates. Should bounce on the floor three quarters of the way. Should pop up right at their waist. Try to make it pop up right at their waist. Here we go. Now, as we throw bounce passes, hang on a sec, guys. Hold on one second, okay? Justin, okay? I want to step each time we throw a bounce pass. It's pretty much never, if you're playing at any kind of level, where you'll be able to step and throw a straightaway bounce pass like that. It's just not going to happen. So let's add a high fake like we're doing an overhead pass and a step around bounce pass there. High fake step around. Now I'm going to do it on this side. High fake step around. Here we go. High fake step around. Good. So now I'm passing around defense. Okay? Here we go. Go ahead. Fake, step around, gain space, gain space. Big step, cover ground. Imagine yourself going around the defender. Imagine yourself going around the defender to make the pass. Go around the defender to make the pass. Good. Go around the defender to make the pass. Good. You gotta get me here, make me stand up. Go around the defender to get a pass. Go around to get a pass. Good. You may only have one hour a week to practice. You may have two hours a week to practice. Use your practice time. Once you have done fundamental passes, try to get as many repetitions in as possible. Here's a simple drill that I used to do in university called machine gun passing. Take it maybe a step closer, guys. We're gonna start right-handed air passes. Ready, go. As quick as they can. Same time, snap the wrist, snap the wrist, snap the wrist, snap the wrist, good. Don't stand like, don't look like you're waiting for a bus now. Put your feet far apart. Get an athletic stance. Good. That's it. Good. Wrist, 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 wrist. Good job, guys. Snap it, snap it, snap it. And switch. Left hand. We'll see who's left handed here. We'll see who can throw it. Remember, concentrate on the wrist. Follow through. Snap the wrist every single time. Great job, guys. Great job. Okay, now everybody on my side throws a bounce pass. Everybody on that side throws a chest pass. Ready, go. Quick, 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 quick. You'll notice, by the way, as they're doing this, I'll make one mention. I'm not a huge fan of the bounce pass in a lot of different situations. If you notice the way a bounce pass spins, when a bounce pass hits the floor, it actually spins with top spin as opposed to a chest pass which spins with back spin. Bounce passes are actually harder to catch because of the top spin. That's why a lot of times it's not a great choice for kids to throw because it's a harder pass to catch, especially to someone who's on the move. Switch it up. I don't see other person's got bounce. Go. Quick, 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 quick. Okay, now, take a couple steps back, both people, and pass fake and throw a hook pass at the same time. Both players will go start going right, then start going left. Okay, so both players will throw right-handed passes, both of the left-handed passes. Better hide the children on this one, sometimes balls go a little crazy on this one. Okay, here we go. 
jerk, jerk. That's it. Fast fake around. Now try not to bounce it, guys. Try to throw a hook pass right at him. Throw it around. That's it. Good. Throwing it around the defense. Now these are more game-like passes. These are passes you might throw in the game because they're around defense. We still need to learn fundamental passes, but we need to be able to be creative and throw all different kinds of passes as well. Continuing with the passing concepts, we're now going to look at the game's approach to teaching a few important fundamentals. I'm a big believer in using games any way I can to teach these fundamentals and to keep your practices fun. The following game is called Pass Tag, where I use a half a chord, at least as a start, with two players on one team and the remainder of your team on the other. The two are in possession of the ball and must pass the ball to each other, trying to tag one of the other team members. They must have possession of the ball to tag them. They can tag them with the ball or with their hand. However, they cannot dribble and they cannot run with the ball at any time. The other team must stay in bounds. If any time they go out of bounds, they will become a member of the offensive team. Any time they're tagged, they also become a member of the offensive team. You'll see it happen. We're going to learn some footwork, we're going to learn passing, we're going to learn teamwork, all the while hopefully having a little bit of fun in your practice. Okay guys, here we go. Spread out, let's go. They've got Debbie cornered. Oh, got her. Debbie's got to go switch jerseys. Ah, oh, he's out of bounds. Switch jerseys, Jared. You got a third, guys. You got a third. Debbie's in the game. Oh. Cut him off, cut him off. They got him. Justin's got a switch. We got a fourth player now. Oh, hitting her with the ball does not count. Got her. They're shrinking. The numbers are shrinking. The numbers are shrinking. Got her. Here we go. He's out. Devin's the last one. You got to get Devin now. Good job. Well done. Continuing on with the games approach, we're going to teach passing. One of the best games that I know of to teach passing but really to teach a lot of different concepts for the game of basketball is something that I call ultimate basketball. It's very similar to ultimate frisbee if you've ever played it. We have two teams trying to advance the ball up and down the court. Anytime the ball hits the court in any way, whether it's deflected by a defense or offense or dribbled or bounced, it's a turnover from that point. You'll notice anytime there's a steal or a turnover, they'll quickly grab it and go the other way. It's very, very quick transition. We will always have one team going this way. We will always have one team going that way. The object of the game is to pass the ball up the court, get two feet past the end line for a score. I'll stop it periodically to teach some concepts that I think are really important to basketball as well to many, many other sports. Okay, guys, go ahead. Black team's going this way. White's going that way. I'll inbound the ball to start. This is my unique way of beginning the game. Sort of a jump ball. Here we go. Play. Players must cut, must move, must stop with good footwork. That's a score. It's white ball. Here we go. They cannot dribble with the ball. That's a deflection. She still got it. Oh, that's a great ball reversal. Great job, guys. Keep moving. Look up the floor always. 
Good. Nice middle cut. Great. Stop there. Freeze there, guys. If you look at that possession, and you at home obviously can rewind this and look at that, that was very, very similar to how a team might break pressure. They attacked one side of the floor, they reversed the ball, they threw the ball up the sideline, they had a middle cutter, and they kept moving forward. These are important concepts that will just happen in this game naturally that you can stop and point out to teach kids fundamentals of the game. Okay, white ball, here we go. Gotta keep moving. Quick passes, good job. Nice. Well done, that's the score. Here we go. Deflection, way to go, Debbie. Here we go. Good job, that's the score. They're learning fundamental tracking skills. They're learning how to stop, how to move without the ball, how to turn and look down the floor. Ah, lazy pass by Devin. That's the score of Dark Ball. Here we go, next score wins, next score wins. There we go. That's a win. Come on in, guys. Come on in, guys. Good job. Okay? There's a few fundamental things I think we can learn from that. Concepts like reversing the ball, concepts like turning and looking down the floor, concepts like passing, stopping, catching, all are fundamentals. A great, great game for teaching the game. Now, to continue with our passing series, we're going to work against defense. First, we learned some fundamental passes, where we learned the basic techniques of passing the ball. Now we're going to work more game-like passes and add a defender. Again, having the people stay on balance, use their wrists, good, solid, snappy passes with a defender on them now that they have to work against. Okay? In this situation, we have two passes, we have one defender. Uh, the receiver of the ball, you'll notice, will show fingers. What the passer has got to do is hold on to the ball long enough while always looking up the floor and seeing how many fingers that person is holding up. If that person holds up 10 fingers, shows both palms, okay, they must then throw the ball and that passer will then go and become a defender, okay. And the receiver of the ball must be a coach in this situation. Not only are they holding fingers, but they're watching their footwork, they're giving their reminders, making sure they're low in their stance, making sure they're using pass fakes, making sure there's no travel balls, okay? That's very important that we get the kids to coach each other. Numbers, 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 good. Good, good. Take the ball, take the ball from her, take the ball. Keep her eyes up. Go a little closer, come a little closer. Go, go, go. Go a little closer, Devin. Good job, good job, good job. Take the ball, take the ball. Okay, freeze, freeze, freeze. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, bring it back here, same matchup, okay? Now, you'll notice in this game, and something that you should point out, especially with young kids, I'm trying to get the defense to play as aggressive as possible because we want to get ready for the most physical possible defense we can. In basketball, it is possible that you may slap someone on the hand and it's not a foul or a foul won't be called. That will happen all the time. It's very good that they learn this right now. In this drill, I'm encouraging the defense, well, we don't want to beat each other up. Be aggressive, try to take the ball. And if you slapped them on the arms and you bumped them a little bit, well, that's part of the drill. We're getting better. So play physical defense, we'll continue. Go ahead, guys. Pivot, use your pivot, use your pivot. Good job. Use your pivot. Use your pivot, protect the ball. Protect the ball, use your pivot. Good job, grab it, grab it. Good job, good job. Passers come a little closer to him. Passers come a little closer. Good. Defense, let's go, good. Let's make it a little bit more difficult now, okay? Mike's guarding Devin here on this side. Okay? Adele is here guarding Devin. Now they're going to work against a trap. Now to work against a trap properly, Devin has to do a couple of different things. 
The first thing is, as the trap is coming to them, if I can get you guys to back up a little bit, Devin, pivot forward. Okay, step forward into them. Now, as they come at the trap, Devin now has the option to gain space of pivoting backwards. That gives him space and even might set up a move where he pivots between them and splits the defense. Go ahead, Devin. Okay, a great move against the trap. The other thing that Devin wants to do is this. Come, come trap me, guys. Come trap me for the camera. Okay, the other thing Devin wants to do is take the trap high, get them to put their hands up, and get them to straighten up. You'll notice right away, as soon as I did that, both people straightened up their legs. Very much a common thing that they're going to try to do. I can then now use my pivot to step around them and get an angle. I can come back this way, step around them. Now they have to cover a tremendous amount of ground to be able to stop me from making a pass. The other thing I need to be able to do is the passes that we just learned, our hook passes, our curl passes, our bent elbow passes, where I can fake the trap low to try to get him to put his hands down and then come over the top or fake him high and come over the top, okay? All those fundamental passes we learned are now getting put in the drill, okay? Trappers stay the whole time unless you get a deflection or a steal. You guys go ahead, you guys are off now, let's see it in action. Again, Devin is still looking up, keeping his eyes, keeping his vision up so he can see the floor. Good use of pass fakes, Justin. Protect the ball all the time. Good job. Ah, he forgot about his numbers. We don't want to encourage the use of bounce passes or lob passes in this drill as those will get stolen versus pressure defense. Keep penetrating, keep pivoting. Keep moving, big trap, big trap, good, stop there. That's about 30 seconds, let's switch it up. Defense is on offense, offense is on defense. Ready, quick, 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 quick. Here we go. Good job, guys, good job, good job, good job, good job. Oh, they're getting their fouling here, there, good job. Here we go, get it out, use your pivot, Mike, use your pivot. Good job, control the ball, good. Now one of the things, stop right there, one of the things Mike has to learn how to do is keep the ball in a position of power. There when he pivoted through, the ball was high instead of being here, 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 or here. Or four spots of power holding the ball. We're now going to move on to a little thing that we call three-on-three -three trap and gap. It's just a little bit more complicated. Why don't you guys set it up here now? This is something that now we can do to teach passing, to teach decision making, but also it can be a defensive drill. How to trap effectively without fouling. How to read defense. This is something that is really a fundamental part of a zone press, a zone trap, a 1-3-1, a 1-2-2, a 1-2-1-1, all different types of situations where you're going to trap and the other people have to read and are playing in a uh, deficit situation in terms of fewer defense than offense and they've got to be able to to make decisions. Devin can pass to either one of the two players and Danielle now has to read sliding back and forth and try to read where Devin's going. If I'm coaching this as a defensive drill, if Devin pivots in this direction, obviously she's going to cheat to this side. That's probably where he's passing the ball. If he pivots the other way, she's going to lean to that side and try to make a decision, getting the most number of steals. In the trap, we want to not foul, but we want to pressure the ball. We want to make him throw either a lob or a bounce pass or get a deflection. That's the key, key thing. For the sake of the drill now, our rotations will be very similar to a zone defense in that if Devin makes a pass to Justin, go ahead, Devin, okay? Danielle automatically goes to the ball. The closest person out of the trap sprints out of the trap and comes in a closeout situation, and now Mike is our gap shooter, okay? This is three on three trap and gap. Let's see it in action, guys. Good, good, take it, take the ball, take the ball, good. Good, that's it, good, 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 close out. Pressure, 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 good, pressure. Pressure, 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 good. Good, 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 get a pressure, get a pressure, get a pressure, good. One more, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Come on, get it, get it, get it, get the ball, get the ball. 
Take the ball. Ah, we had a travel ball. We had a travel ball. Let's switch offense to defense. Here we go. Switch it up. We got a trap on the ball. We've got one gap shooter. Here we go. Good job, and a steal. Let's switch it up, offense to defense. Again, any deflection, we get a steal. Deflection situations are going to lead to steals. That's what we're trying to get. Good job, don't foul the trap now, don't foul the trap. Oh, we were close there, Alyssa, we were close. Great job, okay, freeze there. Now you see we've taken fundamental passing, we've taken it from the very, very basics of passing in a vacuum to the basic fundamentals of the game to passing against defense to now in a team situation where we're making decisions.